A Belgian shepherd is licking its wounds after an attack that has once again ignited discussions on the Capital Regional District's deer population. The 11-year-old named Abby was stomped, beat and left limping after a run-in Friday with a deer on Lockside Trail. With other communities in B.C. launching calls that will see hundreds of deer killed, it's shining the light on the CRD. As CTV's Joe Perkins reports, it's a region that doesn't have a plan, at least not yet. A warning, there is deer attack video in this story. 11-year-old Abby walks with a slight limp after a run-in no one saw coming. And the deer was sort of standing in the clearing right there, and as we walked, we came around a tree, and that's when we saw it. The ex-rescue dog, blind and suffering from arthritis, was physically outmatched and the two of them kind of body slammed each other and then slammed her back down to the ground and it kept jumping on top of her and hitting her with its hooves. It was an attack similar to the one on Star, a dog in Cranbrook. Star eventually recovered from the attack and more than one year after the video was posted online, Cranbrook received permission from the province to execute an urban deer call. Just kind of by her face. It's more or less healed up right now. But Abby's owner isn't sure a call is the answer in the capital region. I don't want to see them all killed, but they do have to do something to control all the deer because I know that they are becoming a bit of a menace. The CRD agrees. It is a pretty big issue. We, we do hear from people who have very strong opinions, both against deer and in favor of deer. Why? It's just an issue that affects everybody. To date, it's been mainly run-ins with vehicles and ruined crops causing concern in the CRD. But after Abby's attack, how to handle the region's deer population has resurfaced. The Capital Regional District will be looking into its deer population in 2012. The only question is, what course of action, if any, will the district take? There's already been suggestions about potential plans. One includes putting up fencing around desirable locations. Another idea idea uh, suggests that dogs be used to scare the deer, but the one idea that no one ever seems to want to talk about is the possibility of a cull. It will be a decision, I can assure you, no matter which direction we go, that, so, that will upset some people. Particularly those who say culls don't work. Science tells us that lethal population control does not reduce deer populations in urban settings and in fact can make things worse. But still, communities such as Cranbrook and more recently Kimberly are implementing calls. Tough one. I don't want to see them killed, but I know they're causing problems. Yeah. So. Truscott says she doesn't want to see it implemented in the CRD. Hey, let's go. Come on, baby. And despite the limp, the owner says her dog will walk it off in the woods alongside forests full of deer. Joe Perkins, CTV News, Cordova Bay.